Hi, this is Eric with Tech Shop Magazine. And coming up in this edition of Tool Minute, we're going to look at some troubleshooting tips for the diagnostic trouble code PO136, O2 sensor circuit low voltage. This video is sponsored by LaunchTech USA, solutions with the power to perform fast and accurate OEM level diagnostics and repair. Visit LaunchTechUSA.com to learn more. DTC PO136 is defined as O2 sensor circuit low voltage. This code monitors the oxygen sensor voltage and when it sets, it means that the PCM recognizes it has remained low for over a predetermined amount of time, usually about two to four minutes, depending on manufacturer. This is commonly referred to as the O2 sensor being stuck. Our diagnosis involves determining whether the sensor is producing an incorrect unchanging signal or if another factor is driving it to produce the same unchanging signal. When an O2 sensor is operating normally, it produces a voltage between 0.1 and 0.9 volts. A lean condition produces low voltage and a rich condition produces high voltage. In order to keep the engine operating efficiently, the PCM continuously and rapidly adjusts the fuel mixture in response to the O2 sensor signal. You can view the oxygen sensor parameters in live data on a scan tool or use a lab scope to look at O2 voltage. You should see the sensor switch constantly from below 300 millivolts to over 750 millivolts and it should do it in less than 100 milliseconds. There are a number of different things that can cause this code, so to diagnose a PO136 and confirm if the problem is in fact the sensor or a different cause, perform an initial inspection for obvious things like intake or exhaust leaks or damaged O2 sensor wiring. Check for voltage and ground at the O2 sensor and also check the fuel pressure. You can use a propane enrichment tool to force the vehicle mixture rich in order to see if the sensor will react. Only once you have confirmed that the O2 wiring is okay and that there are no issues that are driving the sensor to produce a low signal can you safely condemn the sensor. It's as important as always to consult the service information for the vehicle you are working on before you begin your diagnosis. Thanks for watching Tech Shop's Tool Minute.